Hey people, Zarthwomp here, and welcome to episode 3 of Mario Galaxy. Last time, we got we com we completed the stars in for now in the Good Egg Galaxy. We found Hungry Luma, and we defeated an octopus and a donut, King Caliente. Then we walked through a new galaxy, the Honey Hive Galaxy, where we got a bee mushroom. We can fly around now with the power of the bee whenever we find one of those mushrooms, and we saved Captain Toad, his first ever appearance in the Mario series. Though not the first appearance on this channel, but anyways... Let's get going, shall we? We got a new galaxy, so let's do it. Yeah, I love how you can you can select levels with the a, with the B button, but then when you try to get when you try to actually select the galaxy, nope. Anyways, first galaxy. This is this is the loop de loop galaxy. Let's do it. We can clear this one out with relative ease. This is just a simple one-off mission. Nothing too bad. Nothing too serious. Okay, let's get going. Come on, there we go. Surfing 101. Yeah, with a big shine sprite and a manta ray that's staring into our souls. That manta ray is uh, like something out of Five Nights at Freddy's. And the Mario 64 penguins make their return, make their epic return. Hey, this is Penguin Paradise. Are you a surfer too? Are you a server or are you a shoomy? Tell us what you are! Servers are treated like brethren and are treated like gods. Shoobies, on the other hand, are cast into the black hole where they are ripped to shreds by the dimensional fabrics of the universe. What are you? Oh, but this is your first time raising, right? In that case, you are a shoobie! Get out of my area, you damn dirty shoobie! Get out of our shoobie-free galaxy! Do you know why this galaxy is a paradise? Because it's free of shoobies like you! You and your damn shoes! You and your godless shoes! If your feet are not tough enough to endure the ground, then you do not deserve to walk upon our Earth! Be gone! Oh, but this is your first time raising, right? Well then, let me show you the ropes. Now let me explain. Try to match the guide on the bottom right. Don't be an asshole. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. That's the basic position. You are a basic B. To turn left, twist the twist left in the starting position. Correct. That's how you turn left. Now to turn right, you have to do the same thing. That we have to do a whole explanation. Yep, that's how you turn right. Then, all you need to do is hold down the B button to speed up. That's all you need to know. Now, give it a go on the course. Okay. Yes, let's do it. We can't use the actual controller. We can't just go and grab star bits like we would, like we would normally be able to. Yeah, we can also jump with the spin button. Okay, racing time. Three, two. One, we gotta beat the time. Let's go. Let's do this. Yes, good luck to us. I am actually a little nervous to be honest, because frankly I've never real I don't I didn't really do this mission when I was first playing this game. Because frankly, just the whole concept of just using a, a controller and instead of a pointer just felt a little off-putting to me. But regardless, no matter how but regardless, unless I got um, until I get my my Wii U prepared, I can't really play games like this on the channel on an actual console with an actual Wii remote. Okay, but for the time being, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Okay, we should be pretty good. We should be almost out. And too bad we can't actually use a pointer. But it's not the end of the world for us. Okay, let's surf. Da, 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 we gotta prove that we're not shoobies. I mean, we just played Rocket Power Dream Scheme. I I am well versed in the ways of the of uh, basically the way of the non shooby I am no shooby. One minute and one second and ninety six milliseconds. Congratulations, you deserve a gold medal, you not, and you are now officially not a shooby. Here's your badge of not being a shooby. Wear this art, wear this proudly. To show that you're better than the damn shoobies. Okay, we have proven ourselves as being not a shooby. So let's get going. Okay, another star. Okay, six. 
And we fully completed that galaxy, so we get a special little notification. Okay, I'll save the game just because. Okay. And when you see that little icon, basically, that little, oh, hey, you complete the galaxy, that means that no more stars are going to be present there. However, notice how the Good Egg Galaxy has has no crown, despite collecting all the power stars available. Well, you'll see later. You'll see later on what that'll tell. But anyways, let's go. Honey Hive Galaxy. We got more missions to do there. Okay. Trouble on the tower. The Tower of Power. Okay, give me my stars. Give me my stars. Come on. Okay, anyways, this is going to teach us about ground pounding. Just ground pound and you can survive. You can win. I know! Wow! Son of a gun. Thought I could hit the boulder. I know! Worth it! That was worth it! I don't care if I'm almost dead. I will survive. I will thrive. If I, if I was playing multiplayer, this would be a lot easier because then I could use the whole multiplayer function to basically just pause the boulder right in its tracks. At least I can get some good star bits right here. So that's at least a win-win. Yeah, I can't go around collecting every last star bit because as tempting as that is, I mean, I still want to make some good time in the game. I mean, I'm not trying to speed run anything, but I'm not trying to speed run or anything, but basically, but I do actually want to not spend an entire episode just focusing on star bits. Because frankly, that's not an entertaining thing. Just watching Zarthwam go crazy over star bits. Help Zarthwam get out of the star bits addiction program with three easy payments of 1922. Donate to Zarthwam to help him escape from this illness. Get to smack all those little guys away. Nice. I'm gonna try one more time. One more time, come on. We got this. Gotta brave the boulder. Okay, that was that was a bad experience. Okay, let's get going. Yeah, you actually have to press the button repeatedly. Good to note, good to note. Okay, anyways, ground pound on a spring and you will actually spring higher. Just remember that and you will go places. You will go very high up in the air and you will basically have a good time. Okay, let's go around here, see what else we can get. Okay, nice stone block will be able to break. Nice, beautiful, lovely, lovely. I want to get at least 100, 100 mission. If we get 100 mission, we'll be in a very good position. Okay. Nice, we're almost at our 100 goal. And I am going to miss this a million, a million times. A million times, a million years. Okay, don't need that. But I would like this, this. Okay, knock you into the, the abyss. Yes, give me more, give me more. Kill him, kill the Wiggler. Yeah, thankfully the Wiggler will give you star bits no matter what I believe. So I always slam that down. And let's get a move on. Smack that down. And now I'll slide into position. This will probably teach us about the art of the wall jump. Though we don't need to. Jump into the wall and then just press the jump button again and you will be all good. There we are. See, we're already up here. Okay. Let's get move on. Do, 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 do. Get go plant and get. Grab the stars. Grab the bits from them. Lots of fun for me and for you. Let's go. I don't have any of the lyrics. Okay. Okay. Boom. Grab you. Hey, I'll try to grab as many as I can in a speedy fashion. Okay. Nice. Good. Excellent. Excellent indeed. Okay. Let's go down here. Nice. Smack that wiggler out of the way. And boom, there we go. The homing, the homing, pa, pa, eh, the homing ground pound in action. Ah, oh God, help me. 
Yeah, I thought you could get me, Wiggler. You thought you could get me? Well, I homie attacked you. Yeah, you got the homie slam right there. Okay, let's get going. Do, 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 do. And Super Mario, Rainbow Mario, or Super Mario. Let's go. Yeah, Rainbow Mario is really useful. You can smack into enemies. You can basically just grab all their stuff. Okay, yeah, I don't think there was anything we could really do with that. So anyways, yeah, we're all right at the top of the tree. Yeah, as you can see, the Queen Bee is over there. She's doing nothing, just sitting there. Those Vandabugs have taken over our observation deck. Ooh, they make me so mad. Okay, let's trapeze our way forth. Yeah, we could actually just shortcut our way up here, though. Where's the fun in that? Where's the fun just shortcutting our way up? Anyways, Vandabugs. Basically, they are very weak to basically ground pounds. Slam on their backs and you're all good. Anyways, that is a life extension room. Yeah, the, yeah, basically the homing slam is really useful. Anyways, grab that and you have six lives. Your health grew to six. If it drops below four, then basically, well, we're gonna have just three health again. And it will only last for this one mission. Okay. Boom. Yeah, the homing slam is really useful just because an enemy is not underneath you when you slam. Well, no issue. You'll, you'll hit them anyways. Okay. Let's get going. Let's jump up here. And we're almost done with this mission. Yeah, the thing is that missions are actually going to be getting a lot shorter as the game goes on. Because basically, the thing is, is that when the game starts out, they basically really want to go easy on you. They make it a little slower just because they're like, oh, hey, you need the help. Okay, hit you. He gets angry. Okay, and boom. He is dead. And he gave us a power star. And let's get going. Another power star. Okay, very good. Very good indeed. Seven stars. And we're now at one eleven hundred pop. And, now, and we're now at 1,100 units. Ah, not 1,100 units. Ah, 1,100 star bits. I, I like how I'm treating it like 1,100 units of star bits. We're carrying 1,100 units of, of Luma crack. And we got Luma. No, I'm not saving the game. Okay, first off, we're going to head out here. Get our next mission. Let's switch galaxy. Pretty basic mission and a pretty fun one. All you gotta do, coat the entire planet yellow and you'll get a power star. Okay, paint the planet yellow. Exactly, that's what I was just saying. The game is reading my mind. That or the mission name subconsciously put itself in my head. And I love this, the 2D Mario background. Just nostalgia overload, really. Okay, anyways, that guy, he's gonna be generating shockwaves. Yeah, remember the shockwave enemies from Mario Odyssey? Well, this was their first real appearance in the 3D Mario games. So yeah, let's get going. Okay, jump over here. Okay. Jump over here. Nice. Okay, good. Okay, I'm just gonna jump here so that way I don't turn it back to blue. Okay, good, we're almost done. Okay, no issue, and there we go. All green and a power star. And now we can actually use that guy to our advantage. By just jumping on him, we can actually use him as a platform. And look at that, he's being nice to us. Boom, power star, nice and easy. Yeah, some of them are that quick. Okay. Okay, flip switch galaxy. And we actually unlocked the first boss. We have discovered an enemy base in the region. We can only hope they are not misusing the power of that more grand star. 
frankly, just send Twink in. Twink would just utterly wreck them. Twink just, yeah, we go to the base, and it's already burning to the ground, and Twink's just tearing it heads off. Okay, anyways, Hungry Luma. Hey, you! Yeah, you got any tasty star bits? If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll burst with snacky items and then transform! I'm not gonna read this every time. This is the last time I'll really be doing it. I'm fast. I need 400 star bits to curve the hunger pangs. Yeah, as you can see, basically, he is not exactly nice with basic prices. So basically, transform, and we get a new galaxy. The sweet, sweet galaxy has appeared. Well, let's go get a star star from the sweet, sweet galaxy. Okay, Rocky Road. And I hope you like Mario Bros. 3 music because that's what you're going to be getting in this area. I have to admit that cake glaze looks pretty good. Okay, yeah, listen to that athletic theme. Listen to that main theme. Yeah, just what you like to hear in a Mario game. Yeah, don't fall through the cookie cut. Don't cut. Don't fall through the holes. Don't fall through the holes, don't fall into the void. Because apparently this area has gravity despite everything floating in the air. Frankly, if the area, if Mario could fall, if Mario could fall, why aren't these planetoids falling? That's my question. Shouldn't Mario be just floating around in just the vacuum of space then? Yeah, just don't question Mario logic. It, it just, it's a better just not question it. I can't go any further! Don't stop here, the star's right around the corner! Then why aren't you going for the star? Unless you want to just eat the galaxy. So, I can't help but wonder how good this galaxy would taste, considering basically just everyone in it would be putting their feet on the ground. It's like Peach's birthday cake, where it's like from Mario Party 1, where it's like, yeah, you would think it's a good cake on paper, but then you remember that everyone has been putting their shoes on it. And it's probably got dirt and crust in it. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, a little bit harder platform. A little bit of a harder platforming section, but not anything really too bad. Okay. Let's jump. Long jump. Basically, you crouch, and then you jump. We got a power star! Well, let me collect that. Let me collect all the star bits that I can. I mean, we, sw we spent 400 to get here. Hey, we're going back! I think Donut smelled the cake! Okay, sweet, sweet galaxy. Okay, I will not, I will save the game here. And then basically, you know what? We'll go get a grand star. Might as well, I mean, we'll get the grand star and then basically we will actually just complete the Honey Hive Galaxy in the next episode. Okay, head on in. Okay, new galaxy. Whoa! Bowser Jr.'s robot reactor. We're going to Bowser's head. The plant, the galaxy's in Bowser's head. Bowser has shaped the galaxy in his likeness. Mega Legs Moon. Yeah, as you can see, that is Mega Legs over there. Just a massive boss. As you can see, we have a bunch of enemies just roaming around. And yeah, we can jump on, we can basically spin these guys and then jump on them to kill them, but frankly not the best move. Anyways, let's jump here, grab that one up, just so that way we have it. Anyways, the first mission which we're using Bullet Bill's our advantage. The Bullet Bill will seek you out. At that point, just run and use the Bullet Bill to basically smash anything in your path. Boom. Okay. Going. I no, had some mucus. Okay, starbits, starbits, starbits. Yeah. <laughs> you made it! I, but I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you. Go on, Mega Lake. Stop him with the power of your grand star.
Yeah, Mega Lake is so massive that he has basic that he's essentially one big planet to wait. So yeah, Mega Lake is exactly the is exactly the most secure robot considering that we can just jump on him, no issue. No, I wanted a I wanted a long jump. I wanted a long jump. Okay, yeah. In this game, you don't really have a slide or anything, so you're stuck long jumping. Okay. Just ju smash the cage, and then Mega Leg actually does have a little bit of extra defense. Okay, with Mega Leg, you gotta smash open the gate. Okay, come on. Okay, good. No! Yes! Okay, thought I could do it. Thought I could trick it out. Okay. Nice, nice, we actually did it! Boom! Just smash open the star and. Mega Leg is dead, just like that. Okay, let's grab the star. Got a grand star. And that is a third of the grand stars in the game. And we get a new dome area. The fountain. Bowser Jr.'s robot reactor, 10 stars. Galaxy completes, one coin. Cover new galaxy. Look. That ball of flame represents the power of the observatory. We call it the beacon. When you recover a grand star, a little star power will be restored and the beacon will grow. The Kame Observatory can use that power to fly through the universe. Once all of the power is restored, we will, be, we will even be able to fly to the center of the universe. Oh, the power's in on a new dorm. The Fountain Dome. The newly opened dorm is called the Fountain. It's really quite relaxing. By the way, have you looked at the map? It contains information about the galaxies as well as the domes. If you forget the location of a dome, don't hesitate to speak with me. And I will berate you for your insolent, for your ignorance. Save the game. Because I believe that now would be a good time to end things off. Anyways, I really appreciate that you took around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. And with that, I'll see you next time. Bye.